Bad Bones has arrived at WCPW. I don't care how big and great your company is. I don't care about championships. I don't even care about winning or losing. All I care about is money. I am a hired gun, a mercenary, a man of mayhem. If you bring the cash, I will take anyone down for you. Welcome to Batbone City. Little kid trying to make history for himself oh, here. Oh, man. Nice. Wow, look at this. Hey, it could be. Oh, oh my gosh. And now here's the thing for Gabriel Kidd. Get right back on the attack. Stop yep. talking to the referee, Re my opinion. Referee can't help you. Go do your business. Matter of fact, the referee's giving him a break. He's not making one of them leave. That's Hurricane Rana. I believe that Drago and Kidd remain legal here, although a tag was just made. A tag was just made indeed. Oh. Discus, forearm. with Primate, a golden steel chain was used in that one. Right to the ribs now. Now it's an all-out assault. It's, a, it's like a hit. And, oh man. This is, well, this is not inspiring, I can tell you that. But it's damn sure disturbing. This is what Rampage did to Primate, but it was in a much different circumstance. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match as a result of a disqualification, Rampage! Enough is enough, for goodness sakes. You're beating a helpless man who's already injured with a steel chain. A month in Japan, learning to better myself in the art of professional wrestling. And while I was gone, I kept up with everything with what culture, and to see B Priestley parading around with my belt, calling herself the real women's champion. But the thing is, B, the real queen is back, and she's got her jewelry. But B, if you want this, you know exactly where to find me. So if you want another go, bring it on. But that's not just for B. That's an open challenge for anyone. If you think you can take this, come and have a go. I'm going to give you guys an opportunity which is going to double up as a punishment for Drake. One on one, right here, it's going to be Drake versus Alex Gracie. Winner gets the ticket to Orlando. Oh, wow. That's some innovation. Kennedy pulled the referee out of the ring as the hand was coming down for three. Meanwhile, Drake is still not kicked out. And Kennedy made this deal. Yes. Peculiar to so say now the what? least. And now Alex Gracie sees that. Kennedy ought to get his ass whipped for those shoes he's wearing. Oh, oh, oh man. That is devastation. Well, I am totally confused here, Matt. What was this? Catching at Travis Banks and the Banks trying to kick out of it. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, what a... No, the Benadrilizer not enough and look at Ricochet's expression. I thought Ricochet got enough to get the three count. Obviously I was wrong, but at the end of the day, we have to credit the toughness of Travis Banks to be able to kick out of that predicament. Mm. Free shot. Hands are down. Look, look at Banks' hands. Look at his hands, folks. The referee's got to pay attention to this because you don't want a guy to get helpless. Yes. Banks folded up like an accordion at the hands of Ricochet. The only difference between Banks being on the winning end or the losing end, and look at this. Look at that. I mean, it seems that Kennedy wants Drake to go to Orlando, but hang on a second. 
Here comes Archer. Archer on one leg, trying to defend uh, his partner. That's taking it too far. Slapping the kid in the face, and then a chop block on that bad leg. Now let me tell you, I hope I ruin each and every one of your nights. This man, and this man, Alex Gracie and Lucas Archer, they want to go to Orlando so badly. Well, the only place they're going is to the goal queue, because boys, as far as prospect is concerned, is dead, and James R. Kennedy killed it. You are fired! I've got some unfinished business, and that's with True Galloway! tonight because while you think you can do whatever you want last time I checked I'm the general manager around here and I make the decisions and you can't just do what you like I can't do what I want you can't I can't nope watch me Whoa. oh my god come on Jack's not even a trait what a thunderous super kick cheap shot and now Mark Kirby's getting beat down by the tag champion. And wait a minute, wait a minute here. Drew Galloway, the WCW champion, is on the scene. And look at Osprey. Well, let me tell you what happened last night. Last night, the torch wasn't passed, it was taken. And for good reason. Because last October, when I faced Kurt Angle, he had the audacity to try and beat me with the Hendry Lock. And ever since then, things just haven't been quite right. I have realized that something was wrong. Because no one in this business can match my creativity, my charisma. And yet, all of you, it wasn't just good enough for all you. Where were you when I needed your support? Where were you when I needed support? You weren't there. And the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle, paid for each and every one of your sins. Joe, Joe, I'm here. I'm here to kick your ass. Alberto, I know what you think. I know what you think. You think that last night I disrespected a legend. But you, Alberto, are disrespecting a legend right now. And you think, shut up! And you think, you think that I won't fight you? You think I won't fight you right now? I'll fight you next week. Interrupted by, oh look out, Galloway over the top, and Osprey takes out Galloway definitively with that dive through the ropes. Fireman carry pickup on Martin Kirby. Galloway on the outside, and Kirby's going to lose it here to the tag champions. But man, this is. This is not easy, and it's a part of a lot bigger story. Mark Kirby's the reluctant general manager. Drew Galloway's the champion. Will Ospreay thinks he's the number one contender, and the tag champions want more gold.
If you wanna roll, turn into a psycho If you wanna fight, turn into a psycho 